Reminded at a, in, a, in a time like this that uh, what our officers do on a daily basis uh, is a very dangerous job. A Waco police officer is recovering tonight in critical but stable condition after being badly injured by a suspect who ran him over with a car. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. And yes, today does prove again how dangerous a police officer's job can be. This morning, officers were serving a warrant at 23 and Olive in North Waco when an officer was run over by the suspect in an SUV. That suspect was then shot and killed by other officers on the scene. We have team coverage with Curtis Quillen at the hospital where the officer is in critical condition. But we begin with Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell. Jasmine. Well, Doug and Leslie, police say the search warrant was a long time coming for the suspect, and they had no idea that showing him those papers would end like it did. The bullet holes in this white SUV are the aftermath of a violent morning in North Waco, where police confronted a known drug dealer. His hostile actions brought gunfire on himself. Police say they had been watching the suspect for a while, and with the help of the drug enforcement team, a Waco police officer tried to serve him a warrant, but the suspect wasn't having it. The suspect accelerated his vehicle, running down our officer in the middle of the roadway. The officer was pinned under that vehicle. Other police on the scene opened fire on the suspect, hitting him several times. Police then had to physically lift the SUV off the officer. Neighbors in the area say bad things happen all the time in this area. Love for it to be a better neighborhood, maybe more uh, neighborhood watches or something. Police say for the safety of themselves and the safety of the officer involved, they had no choice but to draw their guns. Had we not done that, obviously the suspect could have caused even more damage to our officer who was under the vehicle. They fired in defense of a third party, and that third party was our officer who was pinned under the vehicle. Now, police are not releasing the suspect's name at this time. They said they'll have that information for us tomorrow. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, Jasmine, thank you. Now to the injured officer. He remains in critical condition at Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest in Waco. And that is where our team coverage continues with Channel 6 News reporter Curtis Quillen. Curtis, police say the injured officer is heading in the right direction. Well, Doug Leslie, Waco Police Chief Ryan Holt said that the, while the officer is in critical condition, he is stable and, like you said, is moving in the right direction. But he stopped short of telling us exactly what injuries he suffered on the scene, saying just, quote, he was critically injured by the incident. Now, Waco Police say they will not release the name of the injured officer until tomorrow at the earliest. Chief Holt tells us he was in a meeting when he found out this morning and wants to remind everyone that there are human beings and families involved in this from all sides. But the process of moving forward from what he described as tragic is just beginning. I'll just reiterate what, what we had earlier, that he was in critical uh, but stable condition. Uh, I can tell you that he was very severely injured. Uh, it is going to be a long, long road to recovery. Uh, we'll need to support his family uh, during this effort. Uh, it, is, it is not going to be a, a short-term thing. Just to reiterate, we don't know the exact injuries the officers sustained at this time. As is the case with all police shootings, the Texas Rangers are currently investigating. We will have as we get more information, we will update you not only on the air, but on our website, KCENTV.com. For now, live at Hillcrest Hospital in Waco, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 News. Doug, Leslie, back to you. All right, Curtis, thank you very much.